So you want to know if Trademark Engine is the right resource for you? You want to know what others are saying about Trademark Engine? What are the reviews saying? Tell me what the people are saying about Trademark Engine or Trademark Registrations, Trademark Searches, Trademark Lawyers. Do I even get to talk to a lawyer on Trademark Engine? Listen to my review on Trademark Engine and see if there are alternatives for you that might work out better. Hi everyone, my name is Marcella Dominguez and I am a trademark lawyer helping small and medium sized companies protect their brands and also help them grow through their legal and entrepreneurial journey. If you are new, make sure that you hit subscribe and that you also watch this video because I'm sure you're going to need more than just trademark advice. But if you're starting at the trademark level, then I encourage you to watch this video right here. So if you've done a Google search for trademark engine, you might have seen reviews that say things like, when do I get to talk to a lawyer? This is really misleading. Why am I being charged double? How come the prices are at the end? When do I ever get to speak to a lawyer? Now of all of those complaints, which one would you find most important? Now, I understand that in times like these, people are on a budget. Small business owners may be on a budget. You might just be starting out and so you don't have a lot of money to work with or play around with or throw at lawyers. But you should still be realistic about what you're going to receive with the amount of money that you're paying. So for example, if you're paying $69 or $99, do you really feel that for that amount of money, you will be entitled to the filing of a trademark application maybe a search report and a trademark consultation with a lawyer? Well, if you've been watching this channel or you know how this process works, then you might understand by now that that's probably not realistic. So by watching the other videos in this channel, you might get to understand what are realistic expectations during your trademark journey. So if you are someone that wants to understand the process a little bit better and you wanna know how many classes do I need to file in or what is a specimen? How do I respond to a disclaimer issue? What could go wrong with my application? Then make sure that you watch these videos to understand the process a little bit better. My goal is that you learn more than you knew before you started watching. One of my biggest tips for using Trademark Engine or any type of law firm for that matter is having realistic expectations. If you are paying $69 for an application using Trademark Engine or any other platform, then do you really think that you're going to be entitled to a number of consultations and a number of calls with the trademark attorney? Now, if you already know in the back of your mind that a trademark lawyer or any lawyer for that matter is probably expensive and probably charging for consultation and they are charging for their time, then do you realistically expect to be charged $69 and then if there's an issue, also have a consultation and then, oh, you just thought of this question that came up and so you need another free consultation. I mean, just because you paid $69 or $99 doesn't automatically mean that you're entitled to a number of things that you want included in those packages. So you have to be realistic with yourself and say, if I was in this lawyer's shoes, would I be providing a service for $69 with the expectation that I'm going to be on call whenever a client needs questions answered. Questions that might actually be pressing, but questions that might not be that pressing because they could watch a channel like this and find the answer by simply pushing play. So I want you to be realistic. Do not have unrealistic expectations. Do not be a swindler. Do not swindle yourself and do not mislead yourself into believing that you are getting something that you're not actually getting. So because you are paying a trademark service provider like Trademark Engine or LegalZoom, you know, it doesn't mean that you're automatically entitled to certain things that you would love to be included in that package. You have to make sure that those things are actually included in the package. So $69, mm, in my opinion, a reasonable person might not think that $69 would entitle you to the filing of a trademark application, a trademark search report, a consultation with a lawyer. I mean, it just sounds like you're asking for a little too much. 
So you have to be reasonable. Maybe there are lawyers out there that are willing to provide all of that at $69 or $99, but I'm betting against it. So if this video was helpful, make sure that you hit the like button down below. And if you're curious about what trademark anything is and how it compares to trademark engine, make sure that you scroll down into the description below where you will be able to see for yourself and determine whether it's a good fit. You see, I include as much information in there as possible to help you understand what it is that you're getting. And we've had a number of happy clients because like I said, they know exactly who they're dealing with and who they will be talking to. They know that a lot of their questions can be answered on this trademark lawyer channel to help facilitate the trademark journey and make it a little bit smoother. So they're not left in the dark. Now, if this video was helpful, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button down below. Now, if you're somebody that has used Trademark Engine or LegalZoom or one of these other service providers, make sure you tell me in the description below what your experience was like. I wanna know, did you have a great one or did you, could it have been a little bit better?